Even as the Biden administration continues failed policies, like they brought back catch and release, they stopped building the border wall, and of course got rid of the stay in Mexico policy. And this now creates a completely self-inflicted security problem for the U.S., the health problem in the middle of a pandemic, and a humanitarian crisis. We're also learning tonight that Tennessee lawmakers, they are sounding the alarm amid reports the Biden administration is secretly flying illegal immigrants into the states around the country, including Tennessee, in the dead of night without local communities getting a heads up or knowing anything. Here with reaction, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Okay, so they now not only don't uphold the law, uh, they don't enforce it, they selectively, they only enforce the laws they want, they aid and abet in criminal activity. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that would get arrested for that. Um, mm -hmm. Then they're forcing states like Tennessee, I love Tennessee, uh, to what, pay for yes. housing, food, housing, shelter, right? health care, education? That's right, Sean. Yes. Tell us about That's it. That's exactly right. What they are doing is shifting the burden to the states. And once they do that, they're making every state a border state, every town a border town. But this is the first link in a chain of bad immigration policies. But they're shoving this cost for education, child services, housing, uh, all of the health care onto the states. Now, as you have these communities of illegal migrants coming into cities, what are blue city mayors going to do? They're going to do sanctuary cities. But what the Biden administration is doing is specifically this. They, are, they have now apprehended 500,000 people at the border from 160 countries. They're putting them on planes and flying them to states without any knowledge of the governors. I've just talked to our governor tonight, and the governors don't know it. The local officials don't know it. And, Sean, that is how they're shifting this burden and moving them across the country. Right, you know, so they should next be question. putting them on a plane and sending them back home to their families. Now, what would happen or what options are available to states, including your great state of Tennessee? I love Music Row. I'm a fan of, of Tennessee. OK, yeah. what would happen if you refuse to provide services for illegal immigrants or would you have the ability to follow the law that says you're not allowed to enter the country illegally, that you've got to respect our laws, our borders, our sovereignty? Right. Uh, are there any options available for states to say, nope, we're not paying for this? Well, actually, our governor, Governor Lee, here in Tennessee, had declined the request from the Biden administration to accept some of these migrants. And this is a Tenth Amendment violation because what are they doing? They're doing it anyway. They're sending them into these communities with no one's knowledge. So if any of your viewers see this happening in their community, if they see these planes and buses coming into the community, call their local Fox affiliate. They will come out and cover this and make certain that people know about it because this will force the state, once these individuals show up for education, health care, housing, children's services, the state, the taxpayer, is paying the bill for every bit of this. And one of the things that is so egregious, you have the cartels. Nobody crosses the border unless they're going through a cartel. But then what is the U.S. federal government doing? They're finishing the job for the cartel. Because once someone is caught, then they take them, the taxpayer is paying for it, and we find out they're flying them and busing them to a neighborhood near you. All right. We're, we're going to watch very closely and see how this unfolds. Um, yes. Are we going to uphold the laws of the land or just uphold the laws that we like and ignore the ones we don't like? I know if you're a conservative and you don't obey the law, you're going to go away probably for the rest of your life for jaywalking. All right, Senator, good to see you again. Thank you. When we come